Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand from the title, this uh, video is about the autonomous engineering colleges in Karnataka. And also I will highlight the difference between the autonomous and the non-autonomous college so that you have a full clarity when deciding upon the college. So first to start with, what is the difference between autonomous and the non-autonomous, right? So what is the benefit of an autonomous college is that the autonomous ca colleges can restructure their courses their syllabus and review their syllabus right so this is one of the top most important point is that they have complete control over their syllabus right also that they can include the subjects which are modern and which are up to date so they have better control that is the first part the course autonomous the second is the autonomous college can declare its own result and issue mark sheets right so that is the second best part it's not dependent on any university third is the autonomous college can decide on the admission rules and the course fees they are not dependent on the university right fourth is that they can appoint the teachers and staff including principal on their own and they don't depend on the university but one thing which is very important that autonomous colleges are also affiliated to a university. Mm -hmm. So in case of Karnataka, all the autonomous colleges are affiliated to VTU, which is Vishraya Technical University. So although the colleges are affiliated to VT, VTU, since they are autonomous, they can review, restructure their syllabus, they can decide on result, mark sheets, admission rules, course fees on their staffs, right, and everything, and they get funding from the government. That is from the UGC right, to provide the grants for seminars, for teachers training, for redesigning redesign, of courses and any other aspect. Right. So that is the benefit. Now coming to the different colleges where, uh, which are autonomous. I will start first with the Belagam region which is the Belagavi region. And there there are three engineering colleges which are autonomous. Like you know, first is the SDM College of Engineering, SDM CET in Darwad. The second is Basoshira Engineering College in Bagalkot and the third is KLS Gokte Institute of Technology in Belagam. And these three are all good you know, engineering colleges, old established colleges and uh, you can definitely take in your own region or you can also try autonomous college in other regions right so now if we move to the next region which is kalaburgi region right there are two autonomous colleges uh, balari institute of technology and management in balari and uh, uh, pda college of engineering in kalaburgi so uh, out of this you know balari is little bit better than pda but th those are the options available for students in the kalaburgi region and autonomous colleges now moving to the third region which is the Mysore region which includes the colleges from Mysore as, as well as the Mangalore right. So first college uh, is, the, is the Malnad College of Engineering in Hassan which is covering Mangalore region and this is autonomous college quite decent option for student and um, it's a very old and established college. The next college again this PES College of Engineering in Mandya district and this is also a very good option when into the autonomous college and is a part of PES group and this Mandya is located between Bangalore and Mysore so it is you know in between and the third is the Nitte Mahalingam uh, you know Adhyanta Memorial Institute of Technology or it's called NMAMIT. Some of the courses are still affiliated to VTU set. So that's why you find it in the VTU. But now it is called as Nitte University. And uh, now it has its own process for engineering admission. But for other courses, it is still affiliated with uh, VTU. That's why reason it is in the list. Now the next college in the list is um, NI Mysore, National Institute of Engineering in Mysore and this is also one of the best college options in Mysore, right? Apart from JSS University. So JSS University is itself a university. So it will not be part of this list but these are the colleges which are autonomous, right? SJC, SJEC, this is St. Joseph College of Engineering in Mangalore which is also an autonomous engineering college in the Mangalore region and it's a very good option. The next one is Vidya Vardhaka College of Engineering in Mysore which is a decent option in Mysore and third best college in Mysore after you know JSS Mysore and uh, you know Nainai Mysore. Then next one is on the list is Sahadri College of Engineering and Management which is now autonomous for the, from the last year and this is also having a good placement as, a, as similar to St. Joseph College of Engineering in Mangalore right. So those two are the best option in the Mangalore region. 
Now, this is the last region, which is the Bangalore region, which has the highest number of autonomous engineering colleges, around 14 of them. And um, Tumkur is also part of the Bangalore region. So you have Siddhaganga Institute of Technology, Tumkur, which is one of the finest engineering colleges and which is autonomous. RV College of Engineering, which is the number one college in Karnataka in terms of placement and cutoff and uh, is an um, autonomous engineering college under VTU. NITE Next Institute of Technology and MMIT, which is also part of NITE Group, you know, has autonomous engineering colleges in Bangalore. The next one is the BMS College of Engineering, BMS CE, which is also the excellent option and the second best college in the region, right? Moving further, you have Dr. Ambedkar Institute of Technology in Bangalore, which is an autonomous college. And then there is an, another old and established college called Nagarjuna College of Engineering and Technology, Bangalore. So it, this is also a quite old 30 to 45 to 40 years old college and the cutoffs for this college is quite in a lower. So you can get at the lower rank also around 25 to 30,000 rank in KCT and Comet K. And the next college on the list is very established college again, Dayanan Sagar College of Engineering in Bangalore. And the last one is New Horizon College of Engineering, 8th one in Bangalore and which takes also admission through KCET mode of admission. And this is the last list of colleges in Bangalore, which is the MVJ College of Engineering, again, old and established college and takes admission through KCT only, similar to New Horizon College of Engineering and it's an autonomous institute, MS Ramaya Institute of Technology in Bangalore, MSRIT, again, the very well-known college is a autonomous college. Then Global Academy of Technology, Bangalore is also an autonomous engineering college and a decent option for student for the KCET rank between 10,000 to 20,000 and similar similar comet care ranges and then another bms group college bms institute of technology and management bms it is autonomous college and the recently one new college has got added into the autonomous list which is bnm institute of technology bnm it bangalore and the 13th or the last college on the list from bangalore right which is also an autonomous college so all of these are quite decent option in terms of placement that's all and thanks for watching and please do like and share this video as well as subscribe to the channel to get similar important updates on all the colleges in Karnataka.